You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. We would be honored if you would join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey, Star Wars fans, welcome to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. I do apologize for missing out on last week. I uh, just wasn't wasn't up to uh, doing some filming the normal time I was filming, so I decided just I'll just put it off for another week. But yeah, being that the cantina is coming, well, hopefully if it gets back, it should. It's well on track. Um, I dare say it'll get fulfilled. I've put my pre-order in. I'm really, really excited. I'm looking forward to to this cantina, you know, being able to upgrade the old Power of the Force cardboard one, which has served me well for a number of years. But um, yeah, we want to talk about another one of the patrons of the cantina, the now defunct, now non-canonical Lax Sivrak. I do have the card back here with the picture. He was edited out in the special editions um, but you will never edit out Lax Sivrak from my heart. He was a Shistavanin, Shistavanin Wolfman, expert hunter tracker and Imperial World Scout. Meets the mysterious rebel Flawn Lamproid, Dice Ibergon, the two would become rebel warriors and fight in the Battle of Hoth. So there you go. Yeah, obviously, that's uh that's back in Legends time, back in the old EU. And I'm proud to say this is one I've actually got both the weapons for, which is fantastic. Even though this little pistol here does not sit in his hand whatsoever. But look at it. It looks like one of those kids' toys. It just makes all those terrible, terrible noises. Um, but yeah, that will not stay in his hand to save his life. That's where you kind of got to use those little elastic bands. It's, it's it's literally just resting in there. So yeah, that's his blaster pistol. He also has this uh, quote unquote vibro blade, which sort of clips onto his arm. Remember that scene in the cantina where he uh, he's swinging his vibro blade around. <laughs> but you know it is what it is. But that just sort of clips onto his arm there. So yeah, this guy got replaced by by an alien known as Ketwal, which had a figure release in the Power of the Jedi line, 2001. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know, this guy still lives in my cantina, I think he looks alright, he looks like a, you know, a crazed wolf man, that's alright, there's just a lot of weird things in Star Wars, there's a, there's a big praying mantis and... You know, the Mandalorian, we're talking about the, the ant, <laughs> Miss Dr. Mandible. Why can't there be a dude that looks like a wolf? I mean, come on. It's not that bad. So yeah, he's obviously got the, the big sort of He-Man physique. He's got the big, the big chest, the raging arms. Yeah, you basically have this guy as a as a werewolf or something. I don't know. But the colours of his clothes are very almost Jedi tunic like. <laughs> just yeah, that's probably just, you know, typical farmer where whatever he's doing, whatever his job was. He was an expert hunter, tracker, and Imperial World Scout. So yeah, it's a lack sieve rack. How are you guys all going with the cantina? Are we hoping it backs? Are we gonna get one ourselves? Oh, I got the deluxe one. It just seems right to get the get the full version of it rather than you know, I don't know how it's gonna how it's gonna display all out and surrounded. But I will worry about that in about fourteen months time when it shows up. You know, at this stage, I think it's a pretty safe bet that it's going to back. There's enough people that will want that thing when it's when it's 
you know, getting down to the wire. Most Haslabs have that sort of plateau in the middle where it sort of just steadies on, just steadies on, and then at the last minute people go bang, 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 bang. When it looks like it's certain, and it looks like those tiers are going to get fulfilled, um, yeah, people will just pile on and go for it. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, Laxivrak, not a difficult one to track down if you want him part of your cantina. He'll definitely, um, he'll definitely be staying in mind. He may, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. I haven't decided yet whether I decide to stick with, you know, strict canon, which <laughs> definitely not, because I remember at one stage I had Gandalf the Grey and the Men in Black in my cantina, so I'm not beholden to too many rules there. But yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on Mr. Lax Sivrak. We'll see you next week for another episode of Power of the Force Friday. And uh, enjoy your week. May the Force be with you, always.